every time I see a challenge, I see an opportunity, and that will be my mum and my dad speaking to me. There's something that drove my mum and dad all their lives. Um, through the ups and downs, there was a profound belief that they held that things would get better in the future, things would be better for their children, and that went very deep. My dad trained and worked as a toolmaker and worked in a factory all his life, so the money coming in um, wasn't great. My mum was a nurse until she became too ill to be a nurse, and therefore he was the sole provider. He would leave and be um, at his workplace at the factory at 8 o'clock in the morning. He would come home at 5 o'clock for what he called his tea. He would go back to work at 6, and he'd stay there till 10. And they'd do that every day. My mum was told two things that were seared into her mind. First, uh, you won't be walking by the time you're 20. And secondly, um, you won't be having children. Now, my mum was a very determined woman. In her 20s and her 30s, and even into her 40s, she was still walking. And um, she had four children. And then when she couldn't walk, my dad would be constantly adapting a wheelchair, so because they loved uh, being in the Lake District. So he'd adapt it, he'd make a three-wheeled version of it so that he could still push her on some of the walks they wanted to go on. When she couldn't anymore get in and out of the car, he um, bought and designed a sort of lift uh, thing to get her into the car. When she sadly couldn't even get from the bed to the bathroom, he rigged up a pulley system to the ceiling. It wasn't just fixing the problem, he was actually improving it by changing the design of the thing. And that's been very important to me in politics because we can do a lot better than just fixing the health service, we can improve it, we can push healthcare towards our communities, we can have a preventative model that gets in early, we can improve our education system, we can have better housing, so it's not just affordable, it's also sustainable, it's actually cheaper, it's well heated. We've got brilliant universities, brilliant entrepreneurs, brilliant innovators, science, technology. Um, we have all of that, we just need government that stands alongside the British people, if you like, and drives forward that aspiration and ambition. And I think that's um, the most important thing about an incoming Labour government.